Weekly Watchers, my name is Dad Boys in the Pud, and today I'm going to be watching a true story on a creepy ghost hunting story animated. Uh, this has come from a YouTube channel called Llama Arts. Um, go subscribe to their channel if you haven't already. All do. All these stories are true and they so each one is different also I have my cup of coffee which is good I need my morning coffee I mean like who doesn't need their morning coffee so anyways go subscribe to them and let's get into the video also if you want a creepy ghost story that I've experienced. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you want that. Because like I'm glad to tell you. So let's watch the video. A creepy ghost story. This happened about five years ago when I was 21. Me and my friend Seth got into this app which showed you ghosts. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly stop it there because um <laughs> I, I've used one of these apps before, and just letting you know, they do not work. <laughs> um, which I'll tell you in a video if you want me to tell you about an experience that I had of a scary ghost story, which my parents don't believe me. But if you guys want to hear it, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be happy to tell you. We go out ghost hunting, but nothing much would happen. Sometimes a dot would appear on one of our phones and it would say random words. We would ask, how did you die? And stuff like that. And sometimes the answers lined up, but it was mostly random. One night, around 2 a.m., Seth suggested going to the cemetery. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, around 2 a.m., you want to go to a cemetery. I mean, like, nothing's going to happen. Honestly, very to see if the app picked anything up. I was hesitant, but I nervously agreed. We Idiot. started making our way through the neighborhood towards the cemetery. It was weird as the streets are normally lined with cars, but they were empty on this night. We walked down the middle of the road, Ooh, so with the scary. App running, but it wasn't picking anything up. We finally made it to the cemetery, which was That's a small family owned one where they only buried their own. So basically, if it's family owned, you don't go in it. You know what that means? It means that it's private property. Seth went up to the gate and started shouting. <sighs> really? Steph? You're gonna go up to a fence and start yelling? <sighs> For God's sake. Really? No. You imbecile. He's a dummy. What's he gonna do next? Hoping to get a response on the app, but nothing happened. I was standing in the road, feeling unsettled, when Seth starts yelling, Is that all you've got? I told him to stop disrespecting the dead and- Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but this guy He's wearing the green jacket. I think it's green jacket with grey sleeves. I don't know. Um, he has respect for like the dead. And the guy with the black t-shirt has no respect whatsoever. Honestly. People nowadays. And we should leave. He tried being funny, saying, Oh, I'll make him show up. And jump the gate oh, and started stomping. Yeah. Yeah. Idiot. Of course, he jumps the fence and stomps around just to see if he can get a reaction. Honestly. Jumping on the graves while screaming. Come on, show us something. All of a sudden, our phone said something at the same time. I looked down at my phone. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so scared. 
<laughs> Sorry, I should be taking this seriously, but it's it's all fake. Like these apps, they're not real for a start. It was there. We both just stood there looking at each other when ten or so red dots <laughs> appeared on the radar, and it said it again. When I looked back up from my phone, Seth was next to me. I said, We have got to go. As soon as I said that, we could hear the street lights turning off one by one from the top of the street, getting close. Okay, that's not that scary. It could just be, it's getting late, and the people who run like the street lights turn them off. Because it's, it's like one street. And they don't want to waste electricity. So they're doing they're doing a good thing. I don't I don't I don't see why they're so scared about lights turning off in the background. Closer to us. <laughs> I wouldn't be scared as fast as we could. We got about halfway into the neighborhood before running out of breath and having to stop. I felt like I was gonna throw up from being scared and winded. Then I heard my phone say something. It was muffled but I knew what it said. Being too scared to look at my phone, I looked at Seth, who looked terrified. He nodded at me to get my phone out, so I slowly pulled it out, and it said my name across the top. I turned my phone off and said, Screw this. I'm done. We made our way back to my Good. house and had a cigarette to calm down. Okay, quick thing. Smoking is bad. Don't smoke, kids. I, I haven't done it. Seriously, don't smoke. Smoking kills. We were talking about what just happened, almost not believing it, when I heard my phone again. This time, it was my sister's name. We just stood there, frozen, not saying a word, when it went off again and said my brother's name. I took my phone out, turned it on, and deleted the app. Exactly. I asked Exactly. Like I said, these apps are fake. So, if you want to go try it out for yourself, <laughs> I can guarantee you they are 100% fake. Like, knowing this from experience, they are fake. So, if you do want to go try it out, like 3 a.m., wherever you are in the world, be my guest. Go search it up. Just type in ghost scanners. And they're all fake. Trust me, they don't even work. <sighs> what could happen next, though? Seth to stay the night, but he refused. I can't blame him. When I finally got to sleep that night, I dreamt a muffled voice repeating a word over and over. I started to wake up and the words became clearer. My phone was off, with the battery out. Okay. But when I turned... Okay, so, let me get something straight. His phone is off, with the battery out. So is that a good thing, or is that a bad thing? Turned it over, it was lit up, with the app running. What? That doesn't make any sense. If you've taken out the battery, how is it... ...on? Anyways... <laughs> I think that's fake. It had a red dot about six feet from me, still repeating. Afraid, afraid, afraid. Honestly... fake oil i i can't tell even though I, I have experienced ghosts so i can't really tell whether if this guy's telling the truth or not yeah that doesn't look scary at all oh okay he faints tragic 
I woke up the next morning and went to the bathroom. I had a razor thin cut from my left shoulder to my right hip. Oh, I God. don't know what happened that night. Okay, two options. His story could be true. Or, second option. So that, that was the first option. Second option, he could have done it in his sleep. And nothing has happened to me since. Needless to say, I don't mess with that kind of stuff anymore. Wow. That was interesting. If you want to go um, check out these uh, videos for yourself, or you want me to do more from Llama Arts, I'm happy to do so. Um, if you guys have liked this video, make sure you guys go press that subscribe button. Press that bell icon, which get notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay awesome, boy put, and stay cool, girl put, and I'll see all you guys in my next video. Bye!